Hi guys, my name is Megan from the blog WilsonHomestead.com and today I'm going to show you how to do the hug hold with a six month old baby in a Moby wrap. Now if you guys have watched my channel for long, you'll know that I am a huge baby rearing enthusiast. I am just obsessed with all of it and I have way too many baby carriers. I will link my baby wearing playlist down below if you, so if you guys want to see how to wrap any other carriers or do slings or different all these different carriers, you can go check that out down below. But today, I want to show you how to tie the classic Moby wrap. And this is the Fleck pattern. Now this was gifted to me, but I will link Moby's website down below as well where you can get this. They also sell on Amazon and a lot of stores like Walmart and Target. So I have a six month old son and an almost two year old daughter. I didn't wear my daughter very much when she was a baby, but now that I have another baby with a toddler, I have borne him so much for almost every single nap for his entire life. And I'm just so thankful that we have wraps and all these things that give us the ability to wear our babies while we still get stuff done and chase our toddlers around. And so I'm just a little bit obsessed with all of this. I have been really enjoying the Moby wrap lately. We're coming into fall here in Montana, so it's gonna be getting a little bit chilly and I absolutely love the Moby wraps for winter. I prefer something like a Solly wrap for summer because that's a bit lighter. The Moby wraps are heavy material so especially if you're someone who overheats pretty easily like me i prefer to wear them in the winter but anyway let's get right into this tutorial so our wrap is basically just a very long piece of fabric and they're normally at least a little bit stretchy to start tying it you always want to find the center and thankfully most wraps have a tag in the very center, which is super helpful for finding it. So I just find the tag and I like to bunch all this up like this, just in even bunches. And then I put the tag right over my belly, right under my breasts. Some people start tying it with it all down here, but then I find that it just like pulls up like this and it kind of messes up my shirt. So I just prefer to bunch it up before I tie it. So I just bunch it up like this and I set it right here, right above my stomach. And then I'm gonna take one side, I'm gonna find the top edge, and I'm just gonna bring it over my shoulder like this. And I just wanna make sure that nothing's folded over, everything's laying flat. It's gonna be so much more comfortable once it's all on and your baby's weight is in it if you get everything flat and even right now. You take this part that was around your stomach, I'm gonna take it and put it over the top of this piece right here that we have over our shoulder. And then same thing, I'm gonna bring it around to my back and put it up over my shoulder. And then just kind of make sure it's flattened out and really even. And then I'm going to take this and put it through the tummy panel. So now both sides are even. Now I've seen a lot of tutorials and I actually used to do it this way for a long time where when you bring it around and then over the shoulder, you put it under this panel and then you just put both of these panels through the stomach part at the same time. There's not any real pros or cons to either way, that's just kind of how I find myself doing it, but either way it's totally fine. So right here is where I usually like to get it adjusted for the baby, either loosened up or tightened however you put it on. The Moby wrap isn't as stretchy as something like the Solly baby wrap or the Bobo wrap, so you do have to make sure it's at least a little bit loosened so that your baby can fit in it, otherwise you're gonna be doing a lot of adjusting while you're trying to get them in. So I have a six month old, so I try to loosen it to about this much. You'll kind of get the feel for it as you put your baby in it and you can see how much you need to adjust. You can either tighten it or loosen it after you get the baby in, so you don't have to worry too much about this part. But this feels just about right. So I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm gonna cross them over like this. And I'm not gonna do this tight, I'm just gonna gently drape it around to my back. I'm not pulling on it, because I have it to the tightness that I want it already. So I'm just gonna bring it around to my back. And then depending on how big you are, you can either tie it back here, or I, I bring it around to the front, and I tie it here. Now I found with the bubble wrap, and the Solly wrap, I have a lot more left over here. The tail is usually like three feet long, but probably because the Moby isn't as stretchy, I have like hardly any tail. So now it's all on and ready for the baby. So I'm just gonna go grab him for my husband real quick. Here's my son. This is Demetrius. He is almost six months old and he's a pretty big boy. He's about 17 pounds. Hello. So before you put your baby in, you're gonna wanna find the panel that goes underneath. So you can see that this panel's on top and this panel is on the bottom. 
and you're gonna put their leg through the panel that's on the bottom first. So I'm just gonna put him over this shoulder and hold his leg like this. And I stretch the panel with this hand and put his leg through. And then I, I'm gonna stretch the fabric over his butt and his shoulder. And I make sure that the fabric is going from knee to knee. So when you're all done, you want your baby's knees higher than their butt. So at this point, the easiest way to get to that is to make sure that the fabric is going from this knee to this knee. And then I'm going to lift him with this other hand and put his foot through this other panel. And then I stretch it over his butt and shoulder again. You already have two pretty good layers of support. Oh, he has a piece of grass on his head, oh my goodness. So you already have two nice layers of support and now you're going to find the tummy panel first panel that we put over our stomachs at the beginning and you're going to bring it over one leg and then over the other leg and then you find the top of it you can see the tag right here you're just gonna pull it up over his butt all the way over his back just like this so now he is very well supported he is not gonna fall out of this this feels very secure and so now that you have your baby in the wrap you're just going to keep in mind a few safety things you want them close enough to kiss you want to make sure that their airway isn't restricted so you don't want them facing you or that you don't want their chin down like inside the wrap. Once he falls asleep, I can tuck his head over on the other side and see I can still see his mouth, I can still kiss him, just like that. And then you also, as I said before, you want their knees above their butt so you can adjust their legs like this. And then I kind of lean forward and scoop the fabric under his butt a little bit. And that makes it so that his knees are higher than his butt. You want it to be kind of an M shape so it goes from his feet up to his knees and then down to his butt. And that's just gonna be a lot more comfortable for them. If their legs are down, it's going to hurt their hips and their back a little bit. Now when he's awake in this, he likes to have his arms out and he likes to look around. He likes to actually chew on the fabric so it gets all slobbery and wet. And then once he goes to sleep, I make sure his shoulders are tucked in really safely and then I tuck his head in the opposite side of where he's looking. So to take them out, I just take this panel over their back I'm gonna scoot it under his butt. And then while I support his bottom, I'm going to pull this panel over and this panel over. So then his butt's out. And then I just grab under his arms and I pull his legs out. And then he's out. You just wanna make sure you support them the whole time that you're taking them out so they don't fall and hurt themselves. But that's how you take them out. I have him in this all the time. We live on a homestead. I have a lot of gardening chores and chicken chores. I do a lot of canning every year. I have a toddler running around. I run my business from home. So I am very, very busy and I would not be able to get hardly anything done if I didn't have a wrap. So I highly recommend trying one out. They don't like it at first. It took him a while to get used to it. And even now, when I first put him in it for a nap, I have to kind of bounce around and pat his butt a little bit. They won't just instantly fall asleep. So don't get discouraged if you've tried it and they don't seem to absolutely love it. It's worth trying again and just seeing if you can get the hang of it. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please subscribe if you want to see more baby wearing content or motherhood stuff. I will have more videos coming out soon about some different baby carriers so you guys can see all of your options. But thank you for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Hi. You're chewing on the wrap. What are you doing?